What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of M My Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we have this force of, of the Royal Navy led by HMS Victory and backed up by HMS Beowulf attacking this Ottoman fleet here. So there are a number of major surface ships we would like to capture and bring into our force, bring into our, um, our naval force. They also have a full stack of troops on board, so we want to take those into British custody. So this should be pretty. This should be uh, should be a nice battle. They got a they got a full spread. They got from from seconds all the way down to fifths. So they're a bit outgunned. Um, but then again, I'm like I said, I'm a bit pants at naval battles. So we're going to have to put victory up front. I normally don't put my heavy ships up front because including definitely my admiral because I don't want them to die uh, but it's victory so it would feel weird if I didn't there we go let's sail on so here's the Ottoman fleet. It'd be interesting to see where they go. So I might actually sail more straight in and then turn at the last minute. But because we've got some time to go before actual battle is joined, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when things are a bit, a bit more active. So see you in a second, everyone. And here we go. Battle is about to be joined with victory, firing the opening salvo against his third rate ship of the line or are you actually aiming at this third rate towards the rear this chap's aiming at iris towards the further back behind our line so we're, our force is going to be snaking along somewhat one thing we didn't look at we didn't look at victory but victory does look pretty standard as far as ships go um obviously their fleet is damaged so the heavier ships are actually towards the back of this the left hand common column So let's get our fleet to continue to sail, but we're going to take a bit of manual control, to be honest. So let's bring Victory and her guns to bear, maybe even with chain shot. So again, I've got a really bad habit for this. I still don't know if it's really a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I think it's best generally a better idea well this this man manner seems to work Beowulf's on fire so she's going to cease fire the admiral has been killed because the AI has a very bad habit of getting her putting her admirals on board um, up on masts and you can see it paid the price because their admiral and the rim the main mast is split in half so obviously your fire at will is off because you're on fire although you are no longer on fire so you're going to sail up. This poor third rate is going to be in a world of hurt. Pivot a bit more in. There we go. Get ready to fight ships later on. Further on in the column. Selimier is... Routing, not destroyed yet. You fire chain. She's returning returning the favour. You can victory can fire chain into the head of this third rate that's coming in. You continue to fire round shot. Everyone else is should be full sailing it in. You're going to fire round shot because they're turning to give you a reasonable broadside. Fire your broadside early. There we go. She's surrendered. So let's get another broadside being worked up from victory. Yeah, the ship's losing... I thought she was losing her rear mast. So it looks like they are panicking. Let's 
So you're going to be ready. You're going to fire an early broadside now. These four ships sail on. You all sail on, because it looks like. They're not fleeing, but they're not happy. So if you pivot again, you might fire another broadside into the back of this third-rate ship of the line. Are they attempting to flee? Hey, it's the, it's the Acheron! I'm, I'm definitely having you. If you guys have ever seen Master and Commander, you will rec recognise the Acheron or the Phantom from uh, the Frigate of French Origin. Actually, you guys might actually come over this way. There's a whole bunch of ships here that are just in terrible, a terrible position. It's going to be long range for the victory. But you will be able to open fire on... Well, it's this carronade frigate that will take the brunt of the punishment. So it's HMS Venerable. It's going to take the lead against this other column. Uh, Ceres might actually pivot like so. You get ready to fire your broadsides. Yeah. Victory is going to be a bit out of it for a while. All action is going to be on the ships on this column. Actually, you guys all pivot a bit more like that. Firing head on into series, series, series. So again, they all sail at half set, half mast, and they're going. Oh, I've got to be careful. Oh, victory's getting left on their own. So you need to keep picking away. So let's fire broadside now. These two ships can actually just sit here firing at range against all of these smaller ships up front. You've got good targets. Yeah, Victory just bombard the fleet here. You shat chaps sail. Continue to load your broadside, sir. Victory and Beowulf. That might, might have been a bit of a bad idea, but it looks like they are trying to form up a new column. There we go. Another broadside. She is on fire. Let's actually get these ships to pivot back around. Fire one a few parting broadsides. Don't worry, Acheron, I see you there. See all these ships sailing at half mast. It's like, no, come on. Sail at full speed. Close the gap. Fire off that one gun. At the third rate ship of the line. Oh god, the Acheron is... I know it's Asheron, but I call it the Acheron, damn it. The Acheron's going after victory! And I don't know if, she, if they are actually trying to flee. This can be part of the issue with naval battles, is they can, get, they can take an awfully long time. There we go. You continue just to, to just attack the Karaman Hyder. As did you. I 
Let's see what Venerable is going to open up on the Navi Barry. Montgomery is, that's for darn sure. So Richmond's going to open up on the Iskenderia. Yeah, she's got to be upset. Yeah, so these ships, they're making steady progress over to this direction. Although you guys might actually sail more like here, because that keeps you on a right, the good angle for maintaining to attack the ships as they turn around here. Keep these ships that have currently currently have a clear course. Get them up front. Obviously, these ships back here are a bit. They're being tardy. Fourth rate looks incredibly upset. She might actually sink. She is incredibly poorly. Well, the Carronade frigate is. Concerned, on fire, surrendered. So these guys are attacking against the wind. So obviously that's not ideal, but there's not a lot else you can really do. Obviously most of these ships can't actually fire. Like Neptune, Triton. sail some of these ships to try and sail into the formation to try and break it up and do some damage and to try open up some of these rearmost ships in a position where they can open up to be honest victory you might even just anchor here because that's a lot of good targets there you can hit that you are going to get pounded. But Beowulf should slip into range of that enemy ship there. Let's try to get you guys to close distance. Yeah, so Venerable is going to hope to split their line. So she's sailing right at them. So our second rate. Okay, right. So you're in a good position to continue to stop or to, to engage the second rate, who is firing on Venerable. Victory's so she's way out here, just picking away at the guys at the back. You want to try and cut the line somewhere around here. Full sail, sir. Montgomery's on fire, so if you cease fire at will, that's how you deal with that's how you deal with um, fires. Haha, <laughs> how'd you like your line being cut? His fourth rate ship of the line should surely surrender. Yeah. Fire will off, because I want you to actually broadside. Okay, you go sail up there to cut these ships off. You men pivot to pour broadside into the third rate there. You're continuing to pick at second rates and so on to the rear of their line. And you guys get to full sail to support. These guys are going to take some time to get into position. Very well. You men pivot and engage this ship. Both these heavy guns, heavy gunners are okay, seemingly. Fire broadside against the fourth rate ship of the line. You guys pivot and fire a broadside into the third rate ship of the line. Kablamo! Kablamo! 
But the guts of it is, is we get, we're actually in a position to cut their line in half now. So these ships that are currently sat out of the action will increasingly become relevant. You're going to pivot far into the Niz Nizamnia. It's not even the word, but whatever. Obviously, you're upset because you're in the middle of an awful lot of fire. Let's get your broadside left ready to fire into this fourth rate ship of a line. You're going to be quick... Sh uh, uh, not, can I, not quick line. Uh, round shot focused because I want you to... No, chain shot. I'm going to put you to pour some shots into that ship there. Fourth rate's going down. This fourth rate here is going to get an absolute hit from Venerable. Good stuff. Okay, let's pivot Ven uh, pivot um, Victory and Beowulf cut back around. You guys your guys are actually okay. You guys pivot around. So let's turn the third rates to get a better firing position. They've closed some distance. So we have a second rate there. Okay, Venerable is look is in is in trouble. That's 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 for sure. Chain shot into the second rate here. You're going to do some good damage to that second rate. She's she's incre increasingly isolated. This third rate ship of the line needs to just nail it in here. Fire your partial broadside. Cease uh, fire it will off. Let's get you under repairs. We'll get you repaired. Blast another round of chain shot. Try and knock a mast out. So Victory and Beowulf are going to increasingly become involved. You're going to try broadside right. This third rate that looks upset. I think Venerable might be done for. You guys just chill out here because you've got some good firing arcs. Yeah, Victory and Beowulf are, harrow are harrying people to the rear. You're getting some reasonable shots off against those first and second rates. Fire it will on, just fire at everyone. Third rate ship of the line. Rake that third rate there. 171 crew compared to 249. Board her. Let's give them some support with another third rate. You have your fire under control, so fire at will. The fourth rate there is routing. Beowulf and Victory are beginning to flank. So you're surrendered. The fourth rate is routing. You guys get in here at full sail. Split the line, because right now they're looking increasingly upset. Fire off your four guns. She's surrendered. So you guys pivot and engage Hassan Ries. Lots of our other ships are. Yeah, they're all. They're actually okay. You guys sail on at full sail. You guys reload your broadside. So 
So you're going to pivot. Ready to try and engage. See, see Diaga. Um, broadside's a bad idea, just fire at whoever you can. Because the ships are getting increasingly far away. So you're firing through that surrendered ship into Iskendera. So all of you ships sail on at full sail. All of you guys sail on in full sail full on pursuit mode I think they might actually be trying to flee no, don't board let's give ships orders to attack individual vessels There we go. I think they might actually be trying to flee. But if I give them orders to attack ships, then at the very least we should... Hey, who's over here? Hello, they're aware that we're after them. You ships sail at full sail. Okay, very well. You pivot. Get ready to engage the Sadiaga. All of you ships sail on like this. Lots of these ships in the middle, they can carry on advancing. But I'd like you to fire canister shot to try and slow down the second rate. Let's play this at one time speed, well, a bit faster. So I think they are going to pursue a policy of uh, shoot and scoot, which isn't unreasonable considering they are their position. Can you? You can't engage it with um, chain if you don't advance. Okay, so the second rate's slowing down. So you chaps pivot. Engage with chain shot to try and slow her down. This third ray up here on the flank is going to fire her broadside into those two ships that are clustered together. At the right time. And then try to sail to get ahead of them. So you're going to fire round shot, left broadside, or port broadside, whatever. You nautical swain. Go on, Triton. Smash! But you guys try to sail ahead of them. So you're going to fire at will with chain shot again, just to slow them down. That's what you're going to do. Because, you know, if you knock any masts down, that really hampers their speed. Just try knock out a mast. There we go. Rear mast is down, and she's upset about it considerably. She's routing, but she will likely die before the day is out. Yeah, she's wavering. But there goes her other mast. You ships sail on. This one ship alone is, is responsible for getting Eskendra to waver. You guys really have to hammer it to catch up. Broadside firing at will is going to hopefully knock out more masts. Yes. Fire at will. Oh, you captured both of them. Capital. You're going to fire... You fired all your guns, but you're going to turn. Ready to shoot down Cosmend. 
Yeah, the second race routing, but she will not be long for this world. Load your broadside. Your route you're surrendered. 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 Just fire at will. There we go. Lancaster's gonna fire off a volley. All down to this last fifth rate. I do not think she will survive. Let's pivot around to the right. Get ready for her to try to make a jump for it, a break for it. So let's bring our third rate in here. Sailing at full, well, at full speed, quote unquote. She is currently, uh, she is currently sailing into the wind. So I wouldn't necessarily expect her to do too much good. Fire broadside. Get ready to fire broadside. Right, you pivot as well. You're going to fire chain. Yeah, just to make sure she does... Hopefully you knock a mask... Make sure you knock more of her masks out if this doesn't get her first. You don't need to, don't need to fire it now, but I'm going to... I say, I like knocking out masts. But that ain't gonna happen. Close victory. I wouldn't say that was close. I think that was a pretty good uh, naval battle. I mean, granted, I um, had a lot more firepower than they did, but I captured their entire fleet. So, so, so. I want the third rate. Don't want the frigate. I want the third rate. I'll take the fourth rate. Take the second. Take the third. Take the third. Take the fourth. Take the second. Take the fourth. Take the Acheron. And get rid of... I shall keep these fifth rates. There goes that Turkish army. Oh, I didn't actually bring them into my fleet. Nuts. I misclick. <laughs> oh, well. Whoops. Oh, well. Plenty more where they came from. Okay, let's take the Speedy out. Speedy... Yeah, we are building another fleet up here. Good. Speedy... Get up to Belfast. Orders. So, I have a another unit request to complete, but it made me think. Um, it doesn't really make much sense, me having all my named units spread out everywhere, because I forget. So I think it's probably best if I combine them all into one super army. So where's my... You're down here, or are you in here? Regiment von Losberg. Combine. Because you have a couple of units in Europe that are named. So it would be smarter, I think, to combine them together. So let's go... Take the 16th here and combine them here. So the 16th, we have a request for naming them Charlie's Scots Greys. Charlie's Scots Greys. Yeah, so I think I want to combine my named units into one army. I think that makes sense. And then that army is going to be at the forefront of my campaigns. Yes. So, there we go. Those men have combined. Obviously, you have now lost... Well, you can afford to lose stuff because you're not actually doing much. Um, in terms of upgrades and so on. Right, so let's recruit a... To be honest, let's recruit just a sloop. I want to get these guys across the across the water into Europe. Let's just get. Oh, it's the fifth rate Rose can go sail over to Europe. Oh, I should have brought my spy with them. Oh, well, too late now. Well, it isn't too late. We're going to send more troops into the into the uh, into Europe anyway. So let's take four infantry out of here because you require. Maybe no, you're you're no, you're pretty good. Maybe take one more unit of line and try get two more. No, actually, no, let's keep 
So you need one unit of another unit of fueled artillery. And then I would like you to get some howitzers. Yeah, then you're done. Obviously, a holding pattern is Boston. Although I don't actually need a recruit. I misclicked and got rid of the wrong unit. So you're going to get a 12 pounder foot artillery unit. These are how it's going to join you. Then you're complete. You require um, artillery as well. So let's take three units out here. You get artillery. Well, two more howitzers. I mean, obviously, this is we've got some a lot of infantry here. We're not going to lose them. So we've got. So we recruit the Northumberland Fusiliers. We want to upgrade this to a military gunner's barracks, and that should give us King's Royal Regiment of New York. That's what we want. That's a D existing DLC unit in Empire Total War, and it also gets us Company of Select Marksmen and Fraser's Rangers, which seem pretty cool. And also, we've got Rangers. Cool, that's pretty neat. Then in. Uh, it's not. Is it not in New York? Oh, no, it's Albany. Albany. We're going to get access to the Worcester Regiment and later on Tartleton's Dragoons, I think, which is the character that Jason Isaacs is model on, um, in the Patriot. So let's get you to advance down the road. Uh, let's upgrade the mine here. Philadelphia. You can lose the Demi Cannons. I'm not going to recruit anything here. Well, actually, I can recruit some field artillery. To be honest, you're you're probably good enough that I can just get you two f some field artillery and some howitzers and you're ready to rock and roll. You can leave. So let's keep the recruitment with the armies. That's usually the easiest way. So three of those, two of those. There you go. Don't need as much heavy cavalry because you've got some good pikes. And that's quite a fun army to rock and roll. So if I remember rightly... Is it George Wade? The Rifleman's Royal Brigade. And did you also have a... They do ex I'm sure that... You, I'm sure we've got um, another named unit. Uh, sure it's not Fusiliers. I'm sure it's a Grenadier unit. Uh, Rifleman's, yeah, Rifleman's Royal Brigade is there. Someone else has got, I'm sure. I'll have to dig around for that. But I think I might end up joining them on George Wade's I'm sure it was actually another unit in George Wade. Because it was the name of another... Fusiliers. I'm sure it was Grenadiers that were named Fusiliers. I think maybe I'm going insane. Maybe it's over in. No, we haven't got as no, we haven't got as many um, elite British armies over here, do we? There we go. I remember. I see. I remember. First and second Royal Welsh Grenadiers. Are we... Yeah, don't really want to pull them out of there, but I think I want, I do want to have an uh, one army that's got all my named units in it. So let's take, while I remember, Rifleman's Royal Brigade gets Cologne. So you requ require a heavy infantry unit to replace that lost unit. Fortunately, we can recruit unit of the guards. I mean, obviously we took out the Prussians here in a mighty battle. I'm still curious, but if I got a... Well, maybe not. But we destroyed the Prussians here. So we're just going to auto-resolve there, because we have already killed them all. Then we're going to march to Strasbourg, demand the surrender of the city, and bring them into our empire. Let's fortify the position. Let's make sure we're replenishing... Um, so the first and second, I mean, it's it's not advantageous to take them out now, but to be honest, that's not it's not a good army. So the second and first and second Royal Welsh Grenadiers, sorry, you've lost those. 
I can replace you with two units of infantry, which isn't a bad swap. You're on your way down south as well, although you might go over here. Let's take the first and second Royal Welsh. Sell them over here. We can get this sloop. <laughs> this sloop named Warspite, if there ever was a a less impressive ship to call that. Oh, they've bumped into each other. Actually, no, don't, you guys don't go to Cologne. You guys. You guys are going to go back to Britain. And you're going to be inc incorporated into a, a new army. That's going to be what happens to you. So those men are crossing the channel. Um, so first and second Royal Welsh are going away. Rifleman's Royal Brigade. So they're going to take a, it's going to take a, a couple of a couple of turns to get their troops back, but that's okay. You are in a good position to push up to this bridge, although you might creep forward a bit. Munich is actually pretty pretty takeable, actually. Obviously, we're holding the front against the Ottomans here because we do want to land. You're going to keep sieging Tripoli. Because then Tunis can be... I can convert them into a proper army. By recruiting some cuirassier. Recruit an artillery piece. Recruit a general. Um, our fleet is over here now. So we're going to use that to dominate the ocean there. The Barbary states... Well, we probably we might have to just attack them to make sure they get... Their fleets are destroyed. Because I don't really want to send... My ships against them. So yeah, you were going to do some transporting, but I think you guys might actually check out some of the trade zones, because you're in good shape. I mean, here we've got the Ottoman Empire they can be dealt with. Although you were recently... Okay, let's take... Okay, these privateers... Second rate ship of the line, so if I sell you guys around here, you men collectively might be able to take on a second rate. I'm gonna I'm gonna water resolve it anyway. Blomp. Hurrah. Ah, you didn't kill it. But you defeated it. But you're gonna sail over to the right area. As close as we can. Oh, you can't actually so you can't sail close enough to actually take them out. So that second rate is still here. But that army, or that navy, that theatre needs a needs ships to help with the blockade. Obviously, you guys are done. What well, you're actually, I might move you guys out of here to Greenwich for repairs, so that here at Portsmouth we can continue. We can take HMS Britannia. And start to build... Don't want to get a Neptune. Neptune can lead another fleet. We can start to build another heavy fleet. While we're also still building up the fleet in Belfast. So let's get a couple more seconds and then start getting some thirds. See, so yeah, we took Wernberg. They're not going to like it. Well, surprisingly they like us, even though they've got a honk and great big modern university, which we could actually put to use. Actually, no, there's no point, because we're really late game on tech, so let's just get rid of it. Strasbourg. Pick up some infantry recruitment. Robin Hager, who is... I mean, I know, I know I've named a couple of my own units here in the... A couple of Highlander units. I've named the um, 78th and so on. You're going to march up here, hopefully trying to lure the Prussians into a battle. But you, my good sir, are going to attack Hanover and secure the city for the greater British Empire. Because right now, the Western Front is actually pretty thinly defended. Then after this, we're going to launch invasions of Italy from the Med our Mediterranean islands and secure, um, secure Rome and Naples. For our grand empire. 
we're likely going to have to fight a couple of defensive battles in the east, but that's okay. So let's get our heavy horse artillery to blow the crap out of one of the breaches. We're going to put our infantry in a Highlander unit, and they're going to secure the breach. Uh, fire it will off. Our other infantry, including our Highlanders, are going to wait over here, ready for the time to advance. Some of our cavalry is going to be sat here waiting. Another unit of lifeguards are going to be waiting to advance forward. So you men attack that section of the wall. You men attack the main section of the wall. All my howitzers, one of you, drop quick climb in the center if I did it quickly enough. To attack some of these general's bodyguard units. They do have more to garrison units, but they're a bit too far away. Yeah, that might not be far enough. Well, I mean, they did detonate on the buildings. So if they dropped, they would actually have got some good kills. Well, it's probably better off to... We're probably better off mopping up the units defending the walls. So, yeah, we've got... One of our heavy howitzers is, is attacking. So this is a section of the wall that collapses. This kind of pointy bit is a separate section of wall, which we want to attack to destroy the guns and prevent the enemy from using it to engage our troops. So yeah, we're looking for a line, quick line target that isn't the center. That's it right there. But let's continue to attack these other units. And then once, once we're, we're making our final assault, we're going to be switching to round shot and bombarding the mortar garrison. Or the garrison mortars, not the mortar garrison. And then, as usual, we're going to be pushing in from all directions at once so that there is no key direction where they can defeat us. It looks like, actually, lots of these armies are, at most, they're one chevron, so it's quite a... quite a uh, basic garrison here. So one of the gunners is not firing because he's bugged. This guy. I mean, I've got time set up on a, an extra... You know, I'm not I'm on um, fast forward because we are just doing the similar things we always do. We might even make it... Oh, God! Yep, so a bunch of... A bunch of um, grenadiers fell when that section of the wall collapsed. So we can't get in, but it means they can't use it. So you guys both attack... That section of the fort. If you attack this bastion, it does get you another way in, but it seems to be a bit more buggy. So it's not quite... It's not necessarily a great way in. Aha. Fast forward orders. They don't seem to like it. You have to go to slower time. Boom, 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 boom. It's garrison militia unit. To be honest, they might, they might actually be trying to make a play of it outside the walls which is it's not a good idea so it's knocked down make sure the breach is knocked down there we go so you men can trap my shop and militia garrison my howitzers attack their mortars and my line infantry advance you guys sans cavalry advance Cavalry wanders up separately. Hello. Yeah, cannon shot's doing a real number on the militia. They are not happy. Let's see if we can quick climb a bunch of their regiment of horse. I've got my lifeguards in the mix. I mean. So sometimes this seemed to have worked. If I just mash the sound button. Yeah. Weird one. But when the mortars open up. Which I'm surprised they're not opening up. Okay. Field artillery. Cease fire. Lifeguards. Charge the regiment of... Charge the horse artillery. Howitzers. Engage the centre. It, look, it looks like that unit of mortars isn't going to fire. Are they? Are they? Oh, there they are. There they go. So these units... 
base off of the enemy. Let's get some Highlander Independence up on the wall here. Let's get Highlander Independent ready. And waiting behind the wall there. These two units scale the wall. These units are going to engage the enemy troops that are outside the wall. My cavalry should win against this regiment of horse artillery. My main line advance. Come on. So you've got leftover leftover um, leftover grenadiers. My troops are here are firing by rank again with weird sound issues into the 68th regiment of foot who do look pretty good. I mean they are Prussian troops so they don't they, I mean they're always going to look good. Okay, you guys make sure you've got a bit of a better line because you've got some troops you can actually engage. So we're pouring fire into the 68th Regiment, hoping to knock them out to be... Actually, you guys don't have fire at will on. That's why those guys are living a lot longer than I'd like. So pouring fire into the militia. So they, they likely won't last very long. The, the desire to rout actually is quite... Okay, so our mort their mortars are coming up, getting off, are, are coming after us, and we are actually taking a bit of a drubbing. But we've got a way in now. So these men get them to run over the bridge to secure it. Okay, let's get you guys into the fort. You guys can continue to shoot down the second grenadier regiment, who are likely going to break. There we go. So now we're in. As is my cavalry. Got a unit of garrison guards up here, but they don't want to do anything. But I, don't, I really don't get why they are... Well, I mean... Aha! That's the other unit I was looking for. Yorkshire's number one. So we're going to pull you guys out to the name unit. I knew there was another unit that wasn't my... That wasn't my, um, just my grenadiers. I'm sure. I was sure of it. I mean, you guys are going to bump into these troops and slow you down. But it's not a terrible thing. Form you men up ahead of the enemy force there. Obviously, these guys are going <laughs> to take their positions. These men, now we have the gate. See, this is how the game works, is that they, even though now we've got the a gate into the city, um, they could climb up the walls, but they their programming just seems to go, yeah, but we've got the gate, so just go in there, right? And, like, I get it, but... Eh. Our lifeguards are getting up to shenanigans, to be honest, just make them run in. So these units are going to try and head off. Head off the enemy cavalry there. So they are trying to attack us on the wall, but it's not working. Yeah, I think this battle is just a bit janky. Fortunately, though, they're they're aiming at the mortars, and that means they're firing by rank. So any misses are going they're doing a lot more they're putting a lot more firepower into the general than they would if they were actually trying to attack the general specifically but yeah, i don't really seem to have any control over when it does and doesn't decide to do this i really don't understand what's what it's doing okay let's get you guys in to start attacking the troops that are currently in this in the um currently in the square because we're about to get we are getting attacks let's cease artillery fire you guys attack the general command hq is done for our cavalry's finally made it in these garrison guards are just stuck up here these marines are picking apart the ninth regiment of militia stabby roo like last time this worked temporarily just doing that So if I... 
No, it's still funny. It's the weirdest thing I've done. I've tried so... Yeah, now... So when you hear the chunk when they... The orders are given, you know that's worked then, but... I really don't know why it decides not to work all the other times. Garrison guards are now pushing down the wall, but our troops are ready. You men pivot to face the enemy general. You guys pivot to face the enemy general. Our cavalry just get over here to attack this general's bodyguard. So we've got... You guys just run off the wall. The lifeguards are charging the general. The general's bodyguard is trying to charge the men we've got firing into the gap. And granted we are going to be doing more damage to us than probably than we can to them. So we may as well just cease fire. Is that their, their general one of these? They've killed one of their generals. So the other one's over in this combat somewhere. The Lanvair Militia. Yeah, they held on for a while, but they finally broke. A Highlander Independent Regiment are now facing down the Garrison Guards, and they're losing. Because Highlander Independent Regiments, they aren't... I mean, they're better than infantry. Regular infantry in melee. They've got a higher charge bonus. Ah, oh, but they've got lesser defence. But more morale. Okay. So it's almost like they'll fight longer, but they will lose more men. But let's just speed up time, because... Fundamentally, they're not gonna take the square back. Because we're just... We're all over the place. I mean, we lost the gate because they charged back over it. But there we go. That's the territory of Hanover taken. And we've identified that other named unit, which I'm really happy about. So if I take... You go. Yorkshire's number one. Get over here to Antwerp. Kevin McDowell, advance up to this bridge in short order. You men, replenish. You can recruit. Let's preemptively recruit a garrison guard unit because we know we're going to need an army to, a unit to replace that unit of marines. Upgrade our industry. Upgrade the infrastructure. So you're on your way towards Germany. You're replenishing. So what we need is... Well, I'd rather have... First of all, let's pick up a uh, up, port upgrade. Let's upgrade... Let's recruit two sloops to transport my men over the med without leaving ports exposed. Do some good upgrades here. Upgrade the port. See, these guys are all still recruiting. See, over in the east, we've got, we're going to have some issues. Especially when these guys figure out what they're going to do. And we, need to let, we need to let the Austrians deal with... The Ottomans deal with the Russians, because... It seems to break my game if I ever try to do it. If I try to do anything against them. So you guys, you guys just hold. Although, to be honest, you guys can actually... March up, destroy that embedded force, or that left remaining force let's upgrade the shipyard to a dockyard let's recruit a militia to garrison the port you guys can stage outside waiting for replacement orders we can upgrade the steam pumped iron mine I mean it'll take them a turn to sail anywhere and land their troops and the capital can only last for a handful more turns so they might come at us with an offensive battle plan, but that's okay. I think the big thing is just building up our... Building up our power base to ship overseas. So you're waiting for one more unit of Connacht Rangers who are going to take a ship over to the Americas. I oh, know that was it. You were going to be that ship, weren't you? You were that fleet. Because we want one cool army 
to invade India. So you're going to sail over to the Americas, combine with the f ships we've got over there. We'll combine the armies we've got over there. It's going to take a few turns because I want to get those elite units recruited. In the meantime, we do have Roland Nordell going down there to clear out some of the other troops. Let's bring all these howitzers up to our staging grounds. Let's upgrade the port at Quebec. Obviously, you're just holding the territory to make sure no one raids us. Gets the jump on us. Cool. Trade route raided. That's our guy. Yeah. Okay, let's hit end turn. Our priest is over at Yankton, ready to start uh, converting the local population. The Prussians have realised the Western Front is open. So lots of the armies that they recruited in a big bundle have actually been broken up, and they're dispatching them uh, westward. Except for a couple. No doubt they're going to try and challenge us in a few ways. And they're going to raid our things we've just built. The scallywags. You're probably going to raid one of my ports. But that's fine. You're a broken ship in, the, in an island of nothing. Eh. Let's auto-resolve to see what happens. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, we've got one army to deal with up to the east. And they are advancing at us in strength, but that's not an issue. Oh, the Ottomans are... They were up to something. The Marathas are probably going to send another army to try and invade us somewhere. Don't worry. Soon we will invade them. Persia's pushing back. Denmark. Which I like. Let's see what good they can do. Well, hopefully, they're going to destroy. And they're going to make sure that army is destroyed, that navy is destroyed, I should say. But they went down fighting. They lost a couple of ships themselves. Denmark is still on the move. They counterattacked, combining their ships. Hmm. Yep, they don't want to get caught out. The Barbary States are going to go sail somewhere else to try and invade us. That's their prerogative, but it's not going to help, because I suspect it'll take them longer than three turns, no matter where they go. It's going to rake the Iroquois territory. Okay, let's attach you to an army. Lots of fleets and stuff moving about. So we've got a new town. So let's upgrade. Let's do a good chunk of economy upgrading. Good stuff. Pick up a sloop. New town emerges. Baltimore and Maryland. That we've picked we've got that already. So you've got one raid over here, which is I mean we've got a full stack army fresh from Britain, ready to smash into them. Well, it's probably gonna have to hit this guy. But that will likely draw in Joseph Joseph, Joseph Wagner. Although you could probably hit them. Um let's repair this into a church school, because we're gonna need to start to spread. Um, good old Protestantism into Europe, but before we worry about Europe too much, let's keep our upgrades across the sea going. New York is finished, so we can recruit how many units of the Worcester Regiment? Just the two. Because it, it loaded funny. <laughs> um, I can't remember if this is in the game. I mean, this is in the regular DLC unit, but I think it's pretty neat. So there it is if you want to read um, as much as you can actually see. I mean, it's cut off, so there's only so much you can do. So, obviously you've got a fleet with our named units over here. They're going to land and transfer their men. So I might actually start to display some of the men out of this Field Marshal of Europe force. So let's disembark the army, the, the troops. Let's get them over here. So let's bring my Field Marshal out. Let's take these other named units. Oh, uh, you guys are... Yeah, you guys are the ones that need to... You guys get him. Right, okay. There we go. So you guys sail over to Bristol as well. So I wanted them in this army under Homer Chandler because they are a... Oh, for God's sake. 
I actually I ended up just combining, dumping, <laughs> leaving all my men um, on the on the beach. Sea men sail around. There we go. So then let's take sloop Achilles over to Rotterdam. The sloop Akation over to here. Justin Seymour. Get back to the position of blockading straight here. Um, okay, so we've got some good troops here. So that's three grenadier units, or three elite units. Let's take a line infantry unit. Let's take a British guard unit, and let's take a marine unit out. Because that's a pretty good... So grenadier unit, a marine unit, and a grenadier unit in. And that leaves with the infantry and light cavalry. So you can lose... Okay, you don't actually have any cavalry. So let's take two infantry units out. Swap in cavalry and infantry. Let's take the other Grenad British grenadier unit out. So it's only my my royal my royal brigade in there. It's got the regiment of von Losberg, first and second royal Welsh grenadiers, the Rifleman's royal brigade, Yorkshire's number one, and we've got Charlie Scott's greys. I'm pretty sure that's every named unit. Um, but again, we are cavalry light, so I think I might take this Grenadier unit out, as well as this Highlander unit. For crown and it's a pretty damn elite army right there. Let's get two units of heavy cavalry to join them, and then you guys can join Robin Peterson. As the core of another force. In which case, then you guys don't need. You need skirm. You need two skirmishers and two infantry. I would guess. You don't. Uh, one more unit of guns, two skirmishers, and a regular infantry unit. That would do you guys. Yes. Giles Brophy, a guards man. He can start another force. Good, 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 good. Right, so. Fleet arrives. Ready for as per, as is tradition, we've got Barbary States, so let's go clear them out. We rule the and there's another, there's more ships down here that belong to the enemy. So that third rate is going to, might cause us some issues. We lost three ships, but we're going to take the third rate into our service. And who's down there? It's the Barbary States or the Ottomans down here. Barbary States. Wipe them out. Claim the two light ships. Sail on and destroy them. Claim these two light ships. So this this fleet needs repairs pretty rapidly. So what can leave? The light ships can leave. Okay. Well, one of them can. Let's dispatch the light ships out to capture the zones plus a damaged fourth rate. Oh, it's the... it must have been the, the... the light ships that couldn't do anything. Okay, so let's take... Split the ships up. Obviously they need immediate reinforcement. But that's going to take a few turns, because we don't have any... We don't have any real navies on standby. We've got some fifth rates that can go down there to help secure... The zones. Um, let's create a... I mean, I've got a lot of naval capacity here. Let's create... Okay, let's create a, set, a different tier of fleet. Let's create one that's not... So I want it to have... A few seconds. 
some thirds and some fourths. Like a, like a lower tier fleet. Good. Tenji is pretty Catholic, pretty Protestant. So let's scoot you along the front. Okay, fleet arrives. Two fifth rates. So your privateers, privateer fifth, privateer fifth. Okay, so you're going over to join Wolfgang, and you are going to go join Richie Croft. And then that is this trade trade zone. Pretty darn under our control with Norbert Vaughan. You have another army coming over here. I mean, that's the one we've just sent, so that's pretty, pretty handy. So let's get you over. So the Sloop Southampton can garrison Providence. New men hold at Plymouth. And the Plymouth dockyards can start to add some fourth rates. Your orders, your your orders? Yes. There we go. Let's combine more March. troops. We've got the... Yes, sir. yes, you're max recruiting Worcester. Worcester troops, you're still having to upgrade. You're recruiting them. You build your military governor's barracks. Yes, some fifth rates out here. But that's because we've got... Yes, privateers. Let's take the fourth rate out of that. Move a privateer over to join them. You men leave that. These fifth rates join the fleet there. Let's take Peacock. Congratulations, Jasper Harley. You're an admiral now. And you're going to go kill that last Ottoman ship. It's second rate, I think. Yeah. So we lost one ship and we didn't capture their fleet. So you're going to sail back to Europe for immediate repair. Lots of troops recruited across the board. So you're replenishing. You are going to put Munich. You're probably going to take Munich, actually. But we probably would need to also go on the offensive here. So we need to defeat this army and drive them away. What we also would like to do is take... Two of these ships out. You guys can abandon Cagliari. You men embark. So let's cruise their coast. Right. So that's two full armies there. Naples is undefended. Sicily, Sicily there's no troops. Damn. Okay, we're going to land you at Taranto and disembark the army. We're going to take this fifth rate. They're going to pick up this force at Corsica. And they are also going to land. You guys garrison the port again. You're going to... You can't take Sicily, but you can advance up to here. It's into their control zone, but I would have been I would have been mightily surprised if they um, and if they intercepted us. But you guys can actually drive on and attack Naples. So see if we can demand the surrender. No. So we will be fighting that. We're fighting up there. We're fighting up here. Fighting in e in the east because you can see this guy's pushed up between our cities, so we're going to take him, this force here under Hadwin Charlton, drive south and attack the Prussians here. And I mean, we've also got I mean, Gdansk is under siege. To be honest, we could be doing a lot more here in Europe. Let's take this army, for example. They're not that far off of being an actual army, so let's take two Crusier, one Crusier, heavy cavalry, regiment of horse. You need two more Field artillery pieces. And probably a couple of marines, a couple of engineers, just to spice up the variety. Then that's a pretty good army. You guys are almost ready to rock and roll if you got a general, two cuirassiers, and a unit of hussars. Plus two 24 pounders. You're ready. This army's ready. This army's really ready. Because we could do some lands and decisive blows here as well. 
Okay, so let's start at the top and work our way down. We're going to take Kevin McDowell. Let's move you back here to make sure we remember to do it. Although, actually, you can, well, now you can't attack them, but you prevent them from driving south through this gap, at least. But let's take Kevin McDowell. To be honest, I could probably just smash through and hit them. Yeah, let's take Kevin McDowell through, hit this army. We've prevented them from routing southwest. This army is coming in to support. And there we go. It's the first of a fairly um, fresh unit from, uh, from England being ready. And we've got huge amounts of reinforcements on the table, including... I oh, know, sorry, it is George Wade. That's you. That's them. Cool, but this is looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for one of our first proper battles against the Prussians that's not a river battle on the Western Front. Cheers, everyone.